The first place you need to start when setting up LMN time is the settings screen. So we'll start our videos right there. Having a look in LMN time. To start, you want to go to the settings screen. So that's across the top. You want to hit the settings. And then over here, we're going to start at time tracking. And throughout the rest of the videos, we'll work our way down the left hand side. Now we won't go through all the options here. Most of them are obvious. But the time tracking options are the basic options that you're going to set to help you make sure that you're tracking time the way your company wants to. For instance, when we create a name for the job that shows up for the crew, you've got an option here. You can use project name as the default name, job site address as the default name, or perhaps even the customer name as the default name. We prefer job site address because it's definitely a unique address. If I tell my crew I need you to go to the Smith residence, there could be three Smiths. But if I tell my crew I need you to go to 124 Oak Street, chances are there's only one in our neighborhood. That'll help you set up your default job names. Other things like, should you use job IDs? And a job ID is just a unique number. Most companies don't use job IDs, but if you're a larger company, it may help you keep your job straight. Other options are fairly basic, like what time should the crews take lunch by default and how long is lunch by default? Do you want to use the GPS to suggest jobs for supervisors in the field? What that'll do is actually take their current GPS position and allow them to click a button that says, show me my closest job sites. Now, most of these are all explained with the what's this button. So if you just hover over this, that'll explain each option on the screen and how it gets used. So I encourage you to do that. It makes a big difference setting your time up right so that as your crews start using it, it's going to be a natural to them, but most importantly, the information that you get out of it is going to be set up the way you want it. So use the what's this button to help you understand what each option does. And if you still have questions, check us out at live chat, reach out to us at email at advice at goelement.com or use our help center at goelement.com help and search for what it is you're looking for. Chances are you'll find it. Thanks.